Hey guys, Constance here. Welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So today was a productive day, but it was also a peaceful day. I went and interviewed a local restaurant today for the, or one of the magazines that I write for. Um, there's actually two that I write for now, but um, the second one is not ready to be announced so I will share about that one later on. But the, the restaurant interviews are for a local magazine. I do feature articles about locally owned restaurants, family restaurants, and all of that. That's how I met that wonderful couple from Cuba um, and just all sorts of great people. I, I get to meet lots of locals while I do this. It's, it's a lot of fun. And once I finished doing that interview, I went by the magazine office and I picked up a stack of the last issue to take to the business that I interviewed last time, which was a farm stand, farm market, here in the area, locally owned by family who's been here since, I believe, the 1700s, and um, took them, you know, a stack of the magazine. And then while I was there, it just so happens that it is strawberry season. And so I picked up a big old gallon of strawberries. And when I got home, I got to work on them. Now last year, Mr. Smith really, really wanted me to make a batch of my strawberry jalapeno jam. And I was so busy, and by the time I, I even thought about it, strawberry season was over, and we had kind of missed that peak time. Now this time around, I didn't want to miss out on that. I didn't really have time to make jam today, but I didn't want to miss out on strawberry season. And so what I did is I went ahead and I cleaned the strawberries. And then I went ahead and I crushed them in a bowl with my potato masher. 
and prepared them as though I was going to make jam today. And then I simply froze them in some of my handy little freezer containers. And the strawberry jalapeno jam recipe takes four cups of the crushed berries. And so what I did is I simply measured out four cups and I froze it, another four cups and froze it. And then I had a little bit left over and I just went ahead and crushed those and froze them in a smaller container. And then maybe next week, depending upon how I'm feeling, um, I can go ahead and make him his strawberry jalapeno jam. He says it is his favorite jam in the world and he was very disappointed that I didn't make any last year. Another jam or another jelly that I need to make this year is honeysuckle. And already it has gotten so hot so quickly that the honeysuckle blossoms are starting to dwindle um, but we do have a few pockets of them and so um, hopefully I can get out there and get some picked it's just gonna depend upon it's gonna depend on how I'm feeling um, tomorrow uh, I'm is my surgery that is scheduled and by the time this video goes up, I'll either already be finished or I'll be in the recovery room. Um, I am a little bit nervous about it. Not necessarily the surgery itself. I'm just nervous about the recovery and the things that go with it. So um, saying lots of prayers and I got lots of people praying for me about it. I'm just not a huge fan of going to the doctor or having medical procedures done. Um, and so going into a hospital in general makes me a little nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a healthy distrust of institutional things. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It is just about dinner time and I have a few things I need to do, um, before I'm ready for my surgery tomorrow. Um, and so I need to get that taken care of and all of that. So thank you for hanging out with me here again at A Good Life Farm. My name is Constance, and I'll talk to you all next time.